Hi Zeus. Right there. That's Zeus right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but he has a lot of very pretty, like, dark, dark blues on his tail. This one right here. Dead center. So right now what's going on is that my father, he's making a path going from where our existing path is to his neighbor and friend at Dom's house. And that is because Dom is going to give my father a lot of wood, which he'll need for next year for winter and so on and so forth. So my father is making a nice easy access trail to get the coyote right from his house over there to Dom's house over there. Hey dad, how'd you say the coyote is for this job? What? How'd you say the coyote is for this job? So dad, why don't you let me and the viewers know why why you're you're breaking all of this? Essentially what I'm trying to do is this is an old logging road. I'm trying to get a path from me to my neighbor's house. It's about a 300 foot stretch. He's gonna be giving me a bunch of firewood that he cut down and I want an easier direct route to get to his house so I don't have to drive on my lawn during the wet springtime and leave ruts. We'll just be a, there's already a road here, we're just Kind of maintaining it and bringing it back to life. Yeah, that's already said to them that this, like, if you look, this is clearly a road, this and this and that, you know? So when they make the logging roads, they use big skinners, which leave deep ruts on two sides and then a mound in the middle. So what I'm trying to do is flatten that all out. I got my York Lake angled so I can drag that material back out to the edges to make it more flat. So actually, if you guys look at my father's trail, it is pretty good now. It's pretty clean. It's nothing amazing, but it's more than manageable for the coyote. It'd be fine if we were to bring a garden tractor down here or the Ford. But it's obviously best suited for the coyote because of its sheer size. But that's compared to all of this, which is what our trail looked like before my father York scraped it. So it's actually quite amazing. What a little bit of determination and uh, York Rake can do to make a trail from looking like this 
to this, which this looks like it just got cleared, which it did. This looks like it hasn't been cleared in about 20, 30 years, which it hasn't. I mean, there's a lot of leaves. There's not really anything growing here because everything's so packed down, but yeah, it's, it is crazy. As a matter of fact, you can actually see like right here, my dad cut down this tree. He cut up actually quite a few because they were just in his way, you know. So now that I get kind of the top soil removed, I'm gonna try to grade it more level. This is definitely the high side. So I'm gonna try to bring this material over to the other side. I don't know how well we're gonna do. Keep in mind, there's a lot of mud here. We're in New England, we're in the springtime. Mud. A lot of you guys may not be used to dealing with mud or rocks in your soil, but here in New England, you gotta take what you get. Yes, New England is easiest, one of the muddiest, one of the rockiest places for this kind of work. Yeah, if you look there, a, uh, a lot of these small trees, they can easily get cut down. Even some of the big ones can. Like, I think what my father would eventually like to do is have this be like those trails. You can't really see that right now, but the trails way over there that run in the loop. And have it be perfectly clear and for him to be able just to get to and from Dom's house at any time. Because Dominic is a good buddy of ours. You know, he's a nice guy. He has a little Mahindra. He stops by every once in a while. We stop by every once in a while. And it'd just be nice to have a little path running directly from our house to his. For my dad to check on, up on him and him to check up on us, you know. And so I believe he's getting ready to keep pushing this pile. And basically just open everything up. So he has a nice easy path right to Dom's, which would be good. Especially for getting the wood. And as I said earlier, just checking up on him. I told him about how you're using the spare dirt from over there to clear it.
my goal isn't to finish grade this. You can't grade mud. So as you can see here, this is pure mud. There's about a two foot deep mud hole right here. Every time I drive through this mud hole, I leave about a two foot deep rut. So my goal is just to expose the dirt and then let the warmer, drier weather dry some of this out. We'll come back in a couple of weeks and I'll finish grade it and make it drivable. So me and my neighbor can both use our tractors to get his wood over to my place. So as you can see, there's a lot of wood for us to get over here. There's a lot of this. It's actually more over there. If you look all over there. It's a lot of wood. Some hickory, some maple, I'm assuming some oak. Some black birch. Some black birch, my father says. It's I'd say there's probably, it's probably two or three cords of wood he's got. It's a lot of smaller diameter stuff, but it'll be the perfect size to try out the new saw book. 